Before the game, Raul Labanya has talked to the Twins manager about hitting the great Paul Molitor. I started to spread out with two strikes just to give myself a chance not to get fooled as much and try to put the ball in play. And it turned out a no stride, limited movement prior to pitch turned out to be the best way for me to hit in general, not just with two strikes. I really believe that you don't have to do a lot to get your hands into a firing position, but just a little bit of torque. For me, my bat, hang, my bat angle would change just a hair, but my hands stayed in the same place. But it wasn't just straight to the ball. It was, you know, crack the whip, you know, but you got to get into a torque position. And that was simple for me, and it kept me on a straight line of the ball. Yeah, I mean, Paul Molitor, amongst many things that he taught me, that was one of them. I used to ask him, Molly, what did you do? And that was one of the things that he mentioned. He said, people think I didn't move, but I just kind of squeezed the bat a little. And what that did for him is it got the bat head moving, got a little action going, so I emulated that. That was one of the many things he taught me. And now that I think about that, I can remember, I can remember you standing in the box, and I can remember seeing that little, I, clearly a timing mechanism, that just that little tinge, and you're right, your hands never change, but creating that torque, and our, our man Aaron Boone talked about creating a torque in, in the hands, but still maintaining a good firing position. So that's interesting now that I kind of replay our at-bats. That's that's funny. Yeah, it, it activates your hands is, is what it does. It activates your hands, it sinks up your body, creates energy in the bat head, creates energy and little movement, gets you going, um, and I, don't like when people talk about going back. I'd rather see somebody go down or just tip the bat head a little bit to get energy going forward.